Welcome back, everybody, to my final episode of my Thrift Across New England series. This is just a little glimpse of me thrifting in Maine. I went to the Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Bins, where you pay by the pound. At this particular location, it was $1.49 per pound for textiles. I ended up spending $100 and getting 76 items. My average cost of goods was just $1.32. You can't beat the price. I got some phenomenal pieces. I really hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for supporting the series. I hope you had a good time. Here we go. Let's get into the haul. I've already been to Paris, already been to Rome. What did I do but miss my home? Oh, oh, no. Sit tight, um, grab anything you need to get comfortable because this is going to be a long video, but I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. All right, for starters, I got this and other stories sweater which I think is so adorable. Uh, this was kind of covered in like hair and whatnot at the bins. It looks so gorgeous right now. I looked it over really carefully and realized it was in great shape. Um, so, and other stories, there's the label for you. Um, it's some, there is a little bit of um, alpaca in this. It's really pretty, a just nice feminine basic in black. Um, if you see really up close, there is some really nice detail to the lace, super cute. It is a size small. I'll probably list this between $35 and $45. Um, I'm gonna go through these basics really quickly. These are just some Mosimo jean shorts with stars. Uh, this is a Target brand, definitely only something I would pick up at the bin. I will definitely share with you things that I would only get at the bin. That and other story sweater, I might buy at the thrift store for the right price, like $5 and under. This is a Hannah Anderson dress, which totally brings back memories. My daughter is 19 years old and she had this dress, so I can date this pretty well. This is probably 15 or 16 years old because my daughter had this print and I was like, oh my gosh. So I will pick up certain brands like Hannah Anderson. Um, T is another brand that I like to pick up for kids if I'm at the bins, but I pretty much exclusively buy kids things at the bins unless it's outerwear that will bring me like something greater than 20 or $25. This is just a Nike dry fit skirt, which is really cute. I do like to get golf skirts, tennis skirts. Um, I picked up a couple of these the last time I went to Savers. Skirts are pretty decent movers, especially these have the shorts underneath. Sometimes the tennis um, skirts will have like a little pocket for your tennis ball. So I am a big fan of buying these um, athletic skirts and they photograph super easy and they're usually not too much money, especially at the bins. This is like a nice steel gray. This is also a size small. Before I get too deep in the bucket here of all my stuff, I just wanted to show you that my friend Kim pulled an American Girl doll out of the bin. One of the many benefits of shopping with a friend. So this is, for anybody who's interested, this is doll number 22. I knew immediately when I saw her from all of my years working at American Girl. She's got platinum blonde, she's got blue eyes. Here's the problem with her. She herself is in really good condition. She has tight limbs. Sometimes you, you wanna go like this. If they have loose limbs, it means that they've probably been sitting quite a bit. Uh, just a rope inside and that can get loose over time. I can tighten the limbs on my own. So if I get a doll that has loose limbs, that usually takes the value down a little bit online when you're selling it. So sometimes I'll tighten the limbs, but her issue is that there's some damage to her eyes. Funny enough, you can send dolls out to the doll hospital to have eye replacement. I would probably sell her as is. She's in really great condition besides. I'm going to remove this outfit from her because I personally don't have this outfit in my collection and I'm a weird doll lady. So I'm gonna save the outfit and I'm going to replace it with like one of the meat outfits that I have multiples of. Probably sell her with a little book and as is, and I'll probably list her for about $45 or $50. These dolls sell for $118 now. When I first started, they were $87 at American Girl, maybe 90. Now they're up to like 115, 118, something like that. If I started her at 50, the eyes do need replacing. I have replaced the eyes on dolls before and it's a weird thing. You dip their head in hot, hot water and you soften the plastic. <laughs> It's really weird um, and you can like squeeze the plastic and then take the eyes out because I've customized dolls before where I bought like really pretty blue eyes that they don't sell at American Girl so I think I have a spare set of eyes but I don't know that I'm gonna go through all that I think I'm just gonna sell her as is if anybody is interested in her let me know American Eagle jeans are always something I look for at the bins um, these are the super stretch and they are in a straight leg they are a size six 
kind of slowing down on getting skinny jeans, but if they're the high rise jeggings at the bins, especially in larger sizes, I like to grab those. Definitely looking for more flare and wide legs now. This is just a loft, oh, Old Navy. Uh, and this is something that, you know, I will pick up Old Navy at the bins, especially in this, especially something that's a cute style like this. This is just a blush top with like these little fluttery sleeves, little scoop neck, A-line, very flattering cut. And um, it's just like little paisley flowers. It's actually getting a decent amount of attention. I think I have it listed for 18. It will probably sell somewhere between 13 and 15. My friend Marguerite pulled this out of the bin for me. This is a Banana Republic. Definitely a bins only sort of a thing. Um, but this is pretty substantial. It's just a shell, but it's textured and it has like a faux leather trim. Very nice quality. This is definitely like a nice career wear top and this is a size medium. I mean, when you're shopping at the bins and everything ends up being around a dollar, it's really hard to say no, but you do have to have some discipline. And what was really nice about these bins is that because they didn't kick us out uh, to clean or anything post COVID, all bins are run a little bit differently. And finally, they just let you stay at the main bins. So I was really able to go through and sort. If you saw my video from yesterday, you'll see that, you know, there was a lot of sorting, a lot of tossing things back. This is just a basic tank top and the brand is Calia. Am I saying that right? And this is the brand um, Kalia. And this is Carrie Underwood's brand that is sold at Dick's Sports, at Dick's Sporting Goods, I'm pretty sure. This is a size large. I loved that print. I loved the colors on this. I got two cycling shirts. Not like my favorite thing to sell, but this is Pearl Izumi. That is a very well-known brand in the cycling world. It's got like the little pockets in the back. I thought it was a really cute uh, pattern with like the little scroll and the pink and green. This is a size small. I wanted to lot them together, but this one is a size large. This kind of reminded me of the Olympics with all of the circles. More Hannah Anderson from the same era. This is like a little sweater. This is classic Hannah. Um, I don't know if you're familiar. And funny enough, comment below if you are a young mom. Is Hannah Anderson still a thing? Like, I feel like I'm dating myself. Like, I don't know if the kids still wear Hannah Anderson. It was big when my kids were little, especially like the little play dresses, the little twirly dresses. My daughter loved that. This my friend Marguerite gave me, and I love when I go sourcing in different places when I get something that's local. I actually sold a couple things already, and I will pop them up here. The first thing that I sold was a vintage single stitch uh, t-shirt that had a loon on it and it said Maine. I think I sold that for $24. I'll pop that up right here. And the other thing that I sold was a Lululemon black tank top and I think it sold for about the same price. I listed that tank top for $30 and within 15 minutes I got an offer for $25. It was $25. That's what it sold for. One other thing just sold and I'll, I'll show it to you when I get to it and it sold for $32. So 49, 50, 60, 79, 80, 81. I'm already at $81 in return on um, just the sales, not including fees or cost of goods. But anyways, this is, the brand is called House of Logan, Booth Bay Harbor, Camden, Maine. So this is a local shop and it's so adorable. Um, it's kind of reminds me of like that classic J. Crew roll neck sweater, 100% cotton with the starfish on it, like so cute for Maine. It looks a little short-waisted, um, but it is a woman's and it is a size small. A great sweater um, for cool nights up by the coast in Maine. I was really excited to get that, so I also got the Maine um, t-shirt. So I love finding stuff that's local to the area. Pit Lockry, P-I-T-L-O-C-R-Y. The reason I grabbed this was because it was your, it said Pit Lockery of Scotland. So here's the tag, definitely vintage in beautiful condition. And it had this little sprig of, I don't know, maybe lavender or reminds me of like the, the salvia flower. Beautiful, beautiful condition. This great vintage cardigan sweater. Um, I think it is acrylic. When I first looked at it, I thought for sure it would be wool. Um, it says Scotland, 100% acrylic made in Britain. So I thought this was a really great piece and I was impressed with the condition of it. So I grabbed that. A couple more kids things. And now I'm like, this one is unbranded, but I thought it was so cute. It may have been handmade. How adorable is this? Loved this little skirt. 
but now it's like I don't know what size it is and I don't have little ones so I'm not really sure what size I would say this is probably like a size five or six maybe a seven but it's so adorable it has little woodland animals um, on this panel so cute and then look at this dress I think this dress was also um, unbranded and without a size and also equally as adorable. I mean, these dresses are so cute. This is probably more like a three or four T, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what size it is. So I'm going to have a hard time selling these, but I think they're so cute. This is Victoria's Secret. It is a nightgown, but it's total cottage core vibes, long gown with the ruffle at the bottom. So adorable lace trim at the top but it is new tag so when i saw this i thought for sure we were going to see a gold tag it is a small super lightweight i can't find this anywhere and um, i have to say a lot of my viewers are better at research than me somebody found from my estate sale the Yves Saint Laurent chain belt that I featured, um, that I was like, it was the very last thing I shared in the haul and I'm so excited about it. They found a comp for it. It had sold for $950 with the tortoise shell. Mine is black, but there was like a tortoise pattern and it's called something flower. Oh, clover. It was called the clover belt necklace by Yves Saint Laurent, vintage from the 70s. And someone find a $950 comp on it. And I looked forever for that belt and I did not find that. So I'm assuming someone will be able to find this as well. Really pretty cottage core. Um, I have it listed for $55. It has a few likes on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I can even see somebody rocking that as a real dress, just given the styles that are really popular right now and like wearing like a tank top or a cami underneath or a little slip dress. So cute. This is Universal Thread, which is one of my favorite brands from Target. Universal Thread and Wild Fable and Knox Rose are the three that I actually pay attention to when I'm at the bins. I have success selling them between like $15 and $25. I've already sold this dress in like, I think I sold mine in like an army green and it was new with tag and it sold for $24 new with tag. This is an extra large. I put it on. It's about the most comfortable thing I've ever put on. It's got smocking in the back. It just didn't look great on me. It was a little loose and it just it didn't hold me in and all the stripes were in kind of the wrong places for me, but loved this. So I'm probably going to list this for 20 and it'll probably sell for about 15 or 18, 15, 17, but really cute. And I already had a history selling this exact dress. So I grabbed it. These vintage shorts I thought were awesome. So I don't know about your teenage boys out there, but mine no longer want long shorts. They want like a five inch inseam is what they request. So all of their long shorts now they're not wearing this year. I found these swim trunks and the brand is Hobie, H-O-B-I-E. And all the elastic is gone. Or maybe Kim found these. Kim found like half of my good stuff. Um, the elastic is gone, but it does have a drawstring and they are lined with this like very old fashioned liner. I showed Rocco a picture of them and he's like, no, I want those. Give those to me. I'm like, seriously, you're going to wear these? He's like, yes, absolutely. So I'm like, okay, I have them listed right now. If he asks for them again, if he goes to the beach and he requests them, I will give them to Rocco. Um, but otherwise I'm just going to keep them listed. I have a feeling he's going to forget about them. Kim brought these over to me. Um, these are jeans by Buffalo. They are the Nako style, the ankle grazer. So these are just some camo jeans. They are not high. They are not a high rise. So uh, I don't know if this was the best pickup, but I have said this before. I'm kind of a sucker for camo and they're a larger size. They are a size 34, which is a size 14. They do have ankles. Uh, ankle zips here. Really cute pair of pants. I will probably list them between $20 and $25, I think, unless my comps tell me otherwise. Oh, this is the other piece that I sold and I loved this. This is vintage Judy Hornby. The issue with this is that some of the lace is, you know, there are like little holes in the lace, which I did note in my listing. I know I listed this for $45. I just got an offer on this today and it sold. That's why it's fresh. I listed it for $45. They sent me an offer for 20 and then I countered with 32 and I'm not kidding, like within five seconds they accepted. So I think $32 is a great return. Look at the back of this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the lace trim. 
if the lace was perfect, I would have um, A, marked it higher and not sold it for 32, but there are definitely places, you can see right here, where they've like tied a part of the lace that maybe came undone, but oh my gosh, I absolutely love, love this top. So I have to put this aside because it has sold. $32, I was happy with that. Kim found these, well, all my best stuff Kim found, just for the record. These leggings are um, Outdoor Voices. They are size small. They kind of have this like grayish blue heathered look, really nice. These are like in mint condition. Outdoor Voices uh, kind of reminds me like of an Everlane where it's not always the hugest return, but people really like that brand and it is a pretty consistent seller. These are some linen pants, which um, I have linen coming out of my ears now because of my estate sale buyout where I got a bunch of J. Jill linen but I did keep a pair of black linen pants and I've been loving them. Like I've never been a linen person and I've been wearing these black linen pants and I'm like, oh, I kind of get it. They're so lightweight and they're so easy and they're not restrictive. They're so nice. But anyways, these are J. Jill from her Love Linen line. Love Linen. And they have these little palms on them. They're like a cropped ankle, really cute. And they are a size medium. I'm mad at myself because I had gotten a screenshot of this and thought they were listed and I deleted all the pictures, but I had only done a draft. I never uploaded the pictures. Now I have to retake all those photographs and I'm quite annoyed with myself. This is a vintage Pendleton blazer um, in this nice cranberry color. I looked this over so carefully and I did not see any moth holes which is great, but I do have to say, I have so many blazers in stock right now. My blazers have not been moving. I'm really hoping they start moving in the fall. Um, otherwise, I just need to stop picking them up because um, I'm just overflowing with blazers. But I'm hoping fall's coming back. People are gonna be out and about. Maybe a, there's just a backlog from 2020 because nobody was really going out. Like, I think a school blazer is just so cute with jeans and like just a basic underneath just so adorable so i'm hoping this will do okay i did get a few pieces from ann taylor that were new with tag and this was one of them uh you know i don't love photographing black but anyways um this was just too cute it's 79 dollar price tag it's not the loft it's actual ann taylor and i loved that it was like a double v and it's kind of a looser knit sweater uh mostly cotton really beautiful I think I priced this right at $40 or $39 or $38, something like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I went for like half off or a little less. I'm not sure about this. Uh, I think it's a really nice design and I may end up keeping this because I think there was a flaw. Um, the brand is Nouveau, which I looked it up and was nothing very exciting, but I thought this was really cute. Um, you know, it has that quilted barn jacket look. It's got a really beautiful interior. Um, and it says large, but it is like, I don't know if it's a men's large or what, or if it's plus sizing, but I mean, I am like a large, extra large in women's and I don't, this is just runs really big. So I don't know if this is a plus size brand that is a large, but I mean, this is, I thought I was going to keep it for myself and it's definitely too big for me. So maybe it's more like a two X or maybe a three X, but it's so adorable. And I absolutely love the colors. I just don't know how to market this because it's just marked as a large. So I think I'm just going to give the measurements on it and then list it as like a 2X. If you've ever heard of this brand, let me know. It's a really cute jacket. I thought it was awesome. This is the other Ann Taylor basic, just like a shell, tank top, new with tag. Can you believe how much stuff I got for $100? It blows my mind when I shop at the bins. This is just Divided. Definitely would not pick this up anywhere but the bins. Divided is a brand that is sold at H&M, and I'm going to give this to Angelina. Um, it's kind of that little dark academia vibe um, I thought she would like. This is a Victoria's Secret sports bra. Marguerite gave this to me, and Kim kept bringing over all these really incredible things, and Marg's like, don't discount the fact that I found you a Victoria's Secret sports bra. It was like her joke because she didn't find me much, but she found me that cute 
local sweater too. And she found me a cute blazer. So she did a good job. So this is just Victoria's Secret. I like picking up bras at the bins for obvious reasons they're so light Victoria's Secret sports bras do sell for me I always like grabbing them and my savers prices them between $6.99 and $9.99 so I never get them um, at my local savers so when I see them at the bins I always like to pick them up all right this is a Vineyard Vines fleece jacket this is like brand new it's a size medium it is so soft it is like softer than their normal fleece Vineyard Vines does pretty okay in the summer for me but it's not what it used to be um, but I will still pick it up for the right price and in the right condition and this checked both of those boxes these I was very excited about uh, if you don't know this brand it is a good one to keep track of it is called CP shades the label is a little tricky to see but these retail for close to $200 if not more and I love selling CP shades. They are a lag and look brand. These are the Wendy crop with wide leg. So nice. I have these priced at $89 or 90. I, I have two pairs. I have a black pair and then I have these and I was thrilled to find CP shades. And I think I found these when we went back to the bin. So the second round, um, that second round proved to be definitely worth our while. Even if I just found one pair of CP shades, it's worth it. So I'm guessing these will sell between 50 and $60. All right. I got this vest from my mom, Barb's, if you're watching. This has you written all over it. My mom loves a good vest. She's gonna be so cute in this. It's Talbot's and it's a size medium. If she doesn't like it, I list it. I'll list it, but I have a feeling she's gonna love it and her birthday's in October. So I will probably do a little thrifted box for her for her birthday because she loves thrifted stuff. It feels like it's down. Yeah, it is a down vest, so nice. And down is also so nice to get at the bins because it's so lightweight. Put that in that pile. Oh, I thought this was really cute. This is the brand Lulu's. I do like picking up Lulu's dresses and typically I find their dresses are a little bit more formal. Uh, not always, but I mean, they're like for a night out. And I just thought this was such a cute casual dress. It's got like the little ties here and the buttons down the back. I thought this was so adorable and it's on their current website. Um, this is a size medium. So I really loved this. It's an excellent condition. So first piece from L.L. Bean. I'm surprised it took me so long to get to an L.L. Bean piece. As I mentioned yesterday, my thrift with me, L.L. Bean donates their returns to this bins or somehow they end up at this bins. I don't know if it's a direct donation, if it goes to the stores in Maine first and then eventually end up or if they go directly to the bins. So much L.L. Bean. Most of it is damaged. You have to look very carefully, but they're returned. So sometimes, you know, people might return things for fit or for something very minor. So these are a pair of linen pants from L.L. Bean. Um, they are a size 10 and they do do like a little red mark or a little red X on the pieces that um, are returned. So people don't try to return them again, but um, I'll probably list these around $30. Um, they're very similar to the CP shades, but they don't hold their value like CP shades. Also got this L.L. Bean jacket and I kept looking this over and looking this over because it did have a return tag. So it just, you know, it, it, it's the faded eggplant beans sweater fleece. This reminds me so much of the um, better sweater, but it says right there on the ticket that it was a return and that the retail is $79. So I'm actually leaving that tag on. I looked this over and over and finally, right when we were checking out, I noticed this was the issue that the band had come, had separated from the sweater so i am not going to stitch that because that looks like it requires more patience than i have to give and i think i listed it for 32 dollars or something like that i um, mean this is a 79 dollar sweater so i mean somebody could bring this to a seamstress and probably have it fixed for under 10 dollars. so the way that i have it priced i think is pretty fair or they could just remove both of them and just have like a raw edge it's still in beautiful condition like new otherwise so I thought that that was worth picking up even though it had a flaw and I'm just going to list it as is. This brand is called Calder Blake. 
I've never picked this brand up before. The comps seemed okay. I'm hoping between like 20 and $25 for these. It's ironic that I found so much cotton in linen, given the fact that I just came into so much linen at that estate sale, but I'm really getting them all listed so they sell before the end of summer. This is a Madewell top, so cute in really nice condition, and it's oversized. Definitely would look cute with like some fit, like some leggings or some skinny jeans or whatnot. Adorable. Loved that for the fall. These are the CP Shade black pants. CP Shade, again, the label's really hard to see, but they are a wide leg and they are cropped. They are called the Wendy. Um, there's a lot of them online and they retail, like I said, anywhere between like $179 and $229. This I held up in the store with my friend Marguerite and we were saying like, this is so on American Eagle. It's very different for American Eagle, but I wanted to give it a try because it is from, I think, summer of 2020. It's the newer American Eagle label and it is a size extra large. So I thought it was really cute. It's gotten a lot of attention and I think the fact that it is an extra large is a bonus. This is where it's convenient to be in my basement because I have things just hanging here. These are all things that need to be steamed. So I have them over on my Jiffy steamer which I absolutely love. I would be lost without my Jiffy steamer. I'm in love with the skirt. There is, I think this is unbranded, but look at the detail. It's just like a deeper shade of cream. So it's like ivory with cream lace and embroidery on it. And it's just stunning. I love this so much. Um, I would say that it's like a size medium. I think this will photograph so well on somebody. So absolutely gorgeous. Loved that skirt. I got this maxi dress. It's this gold maxi dress. And this is from H&M, um, which again, I may have even picked this up at the thrift store for the right price. Love the color. Love the style of it. It is a size medium, but I would say that it runs a little on the large side. Adorable, right? So I will probably list this between 30, probably 30. I think this is a great transition from summer to fall. I love finding those pieces. This is just a lucky brand jacket in desperate need of a steaming. I just love a basic military utility jacket. These are just such basics, and I think they are often part of people's like capsule wardrobes. Like everybody just should have a utility jacket in green. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. It goes with so much. So I thought this was adorable. All right, my camera overheated and just like shut down. So we're back. This is a really cool, uh, looks like a vintage Paradise Found Honolulu Hawaii uh, Hawaiian shirt for men. I found some really cool vintage pieces here. I've been in the vintage zone lately, apparently. They look like postage stamps, say Hawaii. And I've already laundered everything. This looks to be like about a size medium. I probably listed it around $35, $38. Um, I love picking up Hawaiian shirts in a cool pattern. This is just a Pendleton shirt. I've sold a couple men's Pendleton shirts. Um, I actually picked this up thinking one of my boys would like it. There was also a plaid shirt. I can't remember the brand. It might have been North Face or something, but anyways, they took it. It was a size medium, so they took that from me and they left this one behind. Oh my gosh, honestly, I'm glad I'm in my basement because I always forget things. These are all things that I've already listed. I have like my rack over here that has stuff that's been listed. I have my steamer over here with things that need to be steamed and measured. Um, this is just an Ecote eyelash cardigan open knit sweater. I think Ecote is sold at Urban Outfitters. Um, I don't always pick this up. This is definitely a Bins brand, but I do okay with eyelash sweaters, especially like this oversized. Actually, I said this was navy blue and it looks charcoal. I think I have to change my listing. It's like a charcoal gray. Um, just great oversized and slouchy, um, you can know, throw on with leggings or whatever. So that is great. Um, this is just a J. Crew blazer. Another blazer. I got a few. I got a few. The reason I like this is because it's like jersey material. It's like it's like a sweatshirt material. Um, so really nice and comfy. Navy blue classic. Just has the brown buttons on it. This is a size medium. Aguri gave me this blazer, which I actually think is gorgeous. It's just so classic. It's a wool blend blazer with gold buttons by Talbots. Just super classic. Size eight older Talbot's label, probably more like in the vintage range. I'm not sure when this tag was produced. It's made in the USA, 100% wool. We'll see how that does. 
Oh, actually, this one I haven't listed yet, but the comps were pretty good. I'm thinking about sending this to the Real Real. This is Christian Siriano, but it's not for Target. He did do a line with Target, but Christian Siriano was on um, Project Runway, I believe, many years ago. And so I saw this, and at first glance, I just grabbed it, and I was just thinking, you know, Target. Like, I just didn't think anything of it. I just thought it was a cute blazer. I noticed that it didn't have Target on it, but I really didn't think that it would be that much more money. I think I saw some of these listed on the Real Real. It was priced at pretty high. I can't remember. Anyways, this is size large. I should try this on. This would be like a really nice basic. Very similar to the same fabric as the J. Crew, like stretchy and comfortable. I think I might try this. I really like it. And it's a little bit of a longer length, which would be really nice. So this is great. I mentioned how nice the people were at the main bins in my thrift with me. And uh, this was the jacket that I said a gentleman came up to us and was like, do you think you girls want this? Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want to take it home with me. It's, I mean, it's pristine, unless, unless I'm missing something. It's L.L. Bean. It is a size men's small regular. Um, it does have the X through it, but it is down and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll have to figure out what the style is. It says tech on the side here, if that means anything to anybody. It is such a nice coat. It's so nice. I mean, I will probably list this somewhere between 75 and 100, I'm guessing. I just want to quickly go over the shoes I got because I didn't cover it in the normal haul. These are the one style of the L.L. Bean slippers. These right here are the Wicked Awesome Moccasins that are my favorite. I think these are like a woman's size eight and a half because they fit me really nicely. This brand right here, I think it's pronounced, I don't know, shoe? <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, but anyways, these are really cute. Made in Spain, size 37, cute loafers. These were the ones that I was really excited about. So these are Vans, opening ceremony. Uh, it looks like a little collab between opening ceremony and vans and i believe these are called the good luck shoe with all the gold sparkle have them listed under men's because i believe they're like a size 11 in men's but obviously unisex so i have the women's size also listed and these birkenstocks i thought were so cute kim found both of these these are mickey and mini birkenstocks they are beat they are very beat up I would say they're like a size maybe 40, if I had to guess. Uh, comps are decent, but I mean, look at the back. So I'm probably gonna list these around, I don't know, 30, 35, just given the condition, but I think they'll hold a little bit of value just because they are Mickey and Minnie. So those are the shoes I got. I think um, there's only one clothing piece left and I wanna share it with you at the end because I'm really hoping that this one piece will pay for this entire haul. So everything that you've seen so far, just a reminder, I spent $100 really 99 in a bottle of water um, and some change. This I showed in my thrift with me as well. It's just this cute little faux fur bag. How adorable is that? It is new with tag, but it is time and true, which is just Walmart, I believe. Uh, but it's really such an adorable tote bag. I'll probably list that for 15 or $20. I'm gonna just go through the stuff that I got in here really quickly. This is from Savers. I don't know why this is here. It's a little $2.99 bag. It's just a cute little leather crossbody, very basic. It almost looks like little bamboo symbols, but this is the label. I don't know what that label is. Um, I Google lensed it and couldn't find it. If you're familiar, let me know. There are some wear to the corners, but it's a really cute little bag. I don't know what the brand is. Um, I got this at Savers too. I'm not doing a haul for that Savers trip because I have a few things in here. Also grabbed this vintage bag at Savers. This brand is called Leather Rock. I paid like $3 for this bag and the comps are crazy. The only problem with this is the little button is missing from here. Like it's like a little fold over. Uh, but this is a really cool brand. You gotta look at the comps on Leather Rock. I was really excited about that because that only costs like $3. Okay, these are from the bins. This is a good old classic Red Sox hat. So cute. And it's like a trucker hat. It almost is made to look a little distressed in the netting. So the, the netting has some like darker spots on it, but it's the brand 47. And I like picking up Red Sox gear. That is this brand. It sells pretty decent for me. And I got this polo Ralph Lauren hat. Another kind of staple will sell between like 
12 and $16. I've seen them sell as low as like six or $7 and I've seen them sell as high as 25, depending on the color and depending on who's buying it, if it's new, the condition, but I really like this blue. I'm guessing between like 15 and $18. This is just a cool vintage beaded bag and it has like these little mother of pearl shells. The detail on this is gorgeous. It's so nice, this little clutch. There's no brand, um, but the interior is beautiful. It still has the little um, silicone little packet in there. Just beautiful. This clutch is stunning and it photographed really well. This looks like it belongs on Depop. It's like a little 90s fanny pack. I don't know what the brand is. So there's the tag, Authentic Cross Trekkers. Never heard of it before. All right, I got this little box for my kitchen. I love that it said Happy Holidays with like a little pine cone. This is like a grayish blue color, which are the tones in my kitchen area. I thought this would be really cute for just like little trinkets during the holidays. I also like that I could kind of keep it into January when I, I put out a lot of blues in January in my house. And I got this little reindeer. How cute is this little guy? I'm gonna keep him and put him with my decorations. I have some other reindeer that I put on my mantle and I thought that he would make a cute little addition. So I got those two little pieces. Um, I also picked up this little Starbucks bear. You know, some people are crazy for their Starbucks collections. And this young lady is from um, the 2007 collection. She's just like the little Starbucks coffee bear. She's has seen better days. I mean, like I could mess around with her paw. I looked at comps on her. She's probably like 13, maybe $15, but she's got a little teddy bear with her. Um, I also picked up this Holly Hobby um, pillowcase. So this looks like it's from the late 70s or early 80s. And as I'm looking, it says Holly Hobby American Greetings Corporation 1976. So I thought this was really cute really cute. I remember Holly Hobby when I was little. I was never really into her. I was born in 1973 for anybody who's wondering. I was never really into Holly Hobby, but I do think that's pretty cute. And then I picked up this scarf. I thought this was super pretty. I love the colors in this scarf. Um, I can't remember if there was a brand, but I love these lightweight scarves. Doesn't really go with my top, but how cute. I love the colors. I bought this mostly on style and because it was so lightweight, it's just a great pickup. If you've made it this far, thank you. Um, I'm just about ready to wrap up with my final piece that I'm hoping will pay for the entire haul. This is another thing that Kim picked up for me. Kim, oh my gosh, I have to start giving her like a finder's fee. She grabbed this and she just said, uh, Prairie Underground, is this a good brand? And I was like, yes, and I like grabbed it. I've sold Prairie Underground once, one other time. The item that I sold, sold for $100. It was their classic jacket that has like the really overpronounced like poet sort of collar. They have really beautiful cuts to their fabric. And Kim pulled this jacket out. It's a size large. Um, I did not see this on their website. I currently have this listed for $199. It's it's so beautiful. I would say this is a small large. The liner is this gray quilted fabric um, and it, you, you know if you button it up I'm just gonna hold it up here and show you the back of it. Uh, it's just a beautiful cut. I'm also going to show you a picture of it here because it's hard to appreciate. Made in the USA uh, made with organic cotton, clothes for independent women, Seattle. I mean, this is just such a gorgeous coat. I don't know what this little baby was doing in the bins in Maine, but I absolutely love it. I was so excited that Kim grabbed this. The shape of it is just stunning. I'm hoping that this will pay for this entire haul. Uh, whoa, that was a lot. I've been working on this haul for a while because I really wanted to have a lot of these pieces listed for you. 90% of this should be listed in my Poshmark closet first. And then once they've been in my closet for a little while, if they don't sell in Poshmark, I start kind of cross posting them over to eBay. If you haven't already signed up for Poshmark, I do have a link below. Um, if you sign up for Poshmark, you will receive $10 in credit from Poshmark when you make your first purchase and I will receive $10 too. So it's kind of a win-win. Let me know what your favorite piece was from today's haul. I'm curious what you think of the main bins. Um, I would highly encourage anybody to take a trip. That's it. I'm going to stop rambling because this is a long video. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and thank you so much for joining me on my Thrift Across New England kickoff series, summer 2021. Look forward to more videos from this series. Um, I will also 
always include them in my playlist and I will also include a playlist at the end here on my end screen if you want to start from the beginning and check them all out it's a lot of fun thanks everybody I'll talk to you real soon love you guys bye what did I do but miss my home Dum-de-dum-de-dum-dum-de-dum-de Oh, New England Dum-de-dum-de-dum-dum-de-dum-de Oh, New England Hi, wow Do you